Hi, I'm Debbie Pitts Palmer and some of you may know me as DPP. I'm a Cincy Independent Consultant, Superstar Director. I joined Cincy December 23rd, 2009. I promoted the Superstar Director on October the 28th, 2017. So I, I've been with Cincy for uh, almost eight years. <laughs> I absolutely love what I do. So I want to kind of go over some things with you guys to let you see how I promote to the Superstar Director. This is at the very top level with Cincy. First of all, I recruit with a purpose. And I love, I love, love, love sharing the opportunity with people because it's a way for me to give back and help others. So one of the things that I did, I started scheduling events like right away. As soon as I started with Cincy, I started immediately uh, scheduling events. I did have a lunch party before I started working events. Very successful lunch party, $1,100 lunch party. And two people joined my team from that party. And I started scheduling these events and got on the books with the events. And they were very, very successful because I was able to connect with people. Not that I had anything much, didn't have a whole lot of products, but I was just out there connecting with people. And that's what's so important. And home parties and basket parties and online parties, that's another way to connect with people because having home parties gives you the opportunity to be able to build those relationships a, on a smaller scale. And for those people that don't have time to have home parties, but they work and they just rather have items that they can carry to work with them or carry around family members, those basket parties are awesome for that. And for those online parties, those awesome for people that feel, feel comfortable doing things online, that's just another way to connect with people. Okay, fundraisers. So we do fundraisers. So there are various ways to do fundraisers. You can do actual fundraisers for schools, uh, churches. Uh, you can do fundraising events. So it's another way to connect with people. It's another way to get people to come on board and join your team because this is how you're going to promote to the next level by getting people to join and you know find a way to help them. Okay, then once you get people to join you, then you gotta be all about training them. And the best way to train them is to connect with them on social media by creating a page on Facebook to train your new team members. Something that I've done, I've also created a group messenger for all of my new team members because I want them to connect with one another. I want them to grow together and inspire each other. So that's another way I feel that's going to be great to help them come up to where they need to come up for those that are interested in taking their business to another level. And also finding out from those team members what is it that they want out of their Cincy business because some people join because they want to get the discounts and tax advantages. Some of them may not want to build a team. So you find out from them what they want out of their business and you'll know where to place them. Uh, something else. Producing training videos, that's very helpful because when you're training, I think it's just good for them to hear from you. So I think that producing training videos is gonna be awesome for those of you that have team members that are not very close to you. So this is one way to connect with them by doing the training videos, live videos or YouTube videos, either way. And I like to uh, find ways to encourage my team members to do incentives. Uh, challenge them in some way because sometimes that's going to help them uh, to do the things that they normally wouldn't do by challenging them. I think that's another thing that's going to work out. And then you got to work with your customer. You know, do all you can for your customers. Be the best consultant you can ever be for your customers. I'm a hugger. They know I love them. They know that I'm going to be looking out for them for special deals. Whenever since he offer special deals, even our bundle packages, I make sure that whatever it is that they want, they know all the options that they can receive by getting all the deals that we have to offer. Uh, you know, make them feel special. It's all about making them feel special. Make them feel like they're the only customer you ever have that you ever had. So make them feel comfortable. Try to learn their names. I'm really bad about remembering names. So I have in my phone program my customer's name and whatever it is that they love. So when they call me, that pops up in my phone and I'll call their name out. And they're they're going to think that I remember that because they just like that personal touch. I think that's a really cool way to connect with your customers. Uh, and, you know, we, we all have a way to enter our customers in our contacts. So be sure to always enter customers in your contacts so that they can get this really attractive newsletter from Cincy 
every month that's going to come automatically once we enter those customers into your database you know and something else as you're building your business using your social media facebook youtube now facebook is a great place it's a great platform that i love to use because it gives me a way to connect with people so they can see how i live my life through scentsy from the various ways that I talk about how Sensi has changed my life. They get to see my family, they get to see the products, they get to see me, they get to feel my excitement through the live videos. It's pretty powerful. And then the YouTube is gonna be a way for you to branch out nationwide, uh, worldwide. So YouTube is powerful for that. A lot of, uh, of how-to videos people kinda go to YouTube for everything. I've actually talked to people and that's, they've told me that YouTube is just a great place for them to learn things. So YouTube is very powerful for you to promote your business and also for your team members to go to, to go to place. And the last thing I want to say is never give up. Never give up. You know, and in business, you're going to have your peaks and your balance. It just works out that way. You know, sometimes things are going right. Sometimes they're going wrong, you know, but you need to stay the course, uh, just stay in there, never give up. This is something I always tell my kids, whatever you start, I do believe in completing it. And just having a good attitude, you know, having a positive attitude about your business, about everything, about your team and your family, just make sure you stay positive. Um, you know, there have been some issues that I had to personally overcome. The very first a situation that I had to overcome was financial issues. As soon as I joined Cincy, I lost my job. So I had to really take my business to a whole nother level. Instead of getting up free and half off like I started originally, I had to crank up the volume, turn up the volume, and start working my business like a business instead of working it as, you know, just getting the free stuff. So as I started working it as a business, things started to change because I'm, I promoted to director in 90 days because I knew I had to accelerate in my business. So when you got financial problems, financial situations, since it's the best place to be to, to make that change, it really made a big difference, okay? Then, you know, dealing with team challenges. You know, I say team challenges because you get people that come into the business that, that have situations themselves. So you gotta be able to work with people based on their personalities. Everybody's not gonna be A, everybody's not gonna be B. Sometimes you're gonna get personalities that range from A through Z. So you gotta be able to figure out what that person's personality is, find out what their challenges are, find out what their needs are, because I have team members that are disabled. I have team members with um, visual uh, disabilities. I have team members that have illnesses, terminal illnesses. So I have various situations within my team. So you gotta be able to, as a leader, be able to work with those challenges within your team. And the last thing I wanna talk about is family challenges. Personally, I have had family challenges. I am a caregiver to three people, was a caregiver to four before my step father passed away. My son was diagnosed with a brain tumor back in 2011. He lives in New Mexico and I live in Alabama. So that was the worst thing a mother would ever want to hear about their child to find out that they have a, a brain tumor. So I had to travel to New Mexico five times to be with him uh, for the surgeries, each one of the surgeries. So I packed my bags, packed my Scentsy gear, and carried it out there to New Mexico and worked my business out there. That's one great thing about Scentsy, the business is portable. You can carry it with you wherever you go. And the care, you know, I'm also a caregiver for my mom, my aging mom, my, my brother has autism, and my uh, nephew, my deceased sister, passed away, and I raised him. I've had him since he was age nine, and they have their own challenges. So I have to be able to take them to the doctor, I have to just be here for them, make sure they take their medicines, uh, make sure I get them to the store and take care of everything that they need. And they also work with me in my Scentsy business. I mean, this gives them a way to, to connect with people because normally they wouldn't because they're at home all day because they don't work because they have disabilities. But it gives them a way to reach out and connect with people, makes them feel good about themselves. So this business has really been a great business for me. And I also work for State Farm Insurance. So I've been there for almost 34 years now. 
and being able to promote my Scentsy business, promote to the highest level with Scentsy, starting from the bottom with all the challenges that I face. My challenges are daily challenges, guys. I mean, I also have a daughter. She's 17 years old. She started with me when she was nine. I trained her with Scentsy. Now she's my Scentsy, my Scentsy assistant. She can do pretty much everything I know how to do because I've trained her from the beginning. And she's very busy, been involved in various activities, sports, basketball, volleyball, piano, dance, uh, three choirs. But I've got to be there with her through all of these things. So, um, but what I've done, I work my business from my phone because I'm always on the go. So, Sensi has been a, a great place for me to be, to be able to be able to spend time with my family and work my business and grow at the same time. So, I just wanted to share this with you guys. So, if you're experiencing challenges in your life, never give up. Never give up because I got to say, I've been super busy. But since he has been a blessing to me and my family, and it can be a blessing to yours also. Take care. Thank you so much for joining me.